onto a dumbbell and take an athletic stance with your feet wider than your hips, knees bent, and feet ready to move. That's important because usually when we do the wood chop, I see this so much where we're twisting and getting a lot of movement just through our upper body and really twisting with our spine, no help from the lower body. But if we were actually chopping wood, like the name of this exercise implies, the way we would do it is we would lift up and then we would rotate through using our lower body to help us. So we're gonna do just that. So to start, what's the grip? You can hold a dumbbell like this if you can get a good grip on each side. If it's too big for your hands, you won't and that won't be safe. So the other option is to hold it here, okay? You pick what works best for you safely. From here, there are three parts of this move that I want you to really focus on. The first is setting up with the weight up out to the side at a diagonal, okay? So elbows soft here, but let's use our lower body to help us first. So whatever side you're gonna go to, you're gonna pivot on the opposite side's foot. So lift your heel and pivot on the ball of your foot so that you can actually get over to this side, okay? That's position one. Position two, we're gonna come back to center, keep your elbows bent and the weight close to your chest. Then position three, we're gonna drive it through to the other side. Notice how my other foot now, this is now my new trailing leg back behind me. I pivoted off of that foot and I've now brought the weight down elbow soft. I come back to that second position and lift up again. So all together, it looks like this. Inhale up and exhale down. 